In a report published Tuesday by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the sea level along the east coastline is projected to rise on average 10 to 12 inches in the next 30 years. This causing moderate flooding to increase tenfold by 2050. Approximately 25% of our uh, economic activity comes from the coastal uh, watershed of New Hampshire. And when we have these uh, flooding events, it really has a significant impact on economic activity. Uh, it, it likely has a, a, an economic impact on uh, property values um, and you know people's ability and quality of life to enjoy uh, where they live. Cameron Wake, a UNH research professor, says it's important to monitor these levels. He says we can take action by building barriers or using raised foundations for buildings. Plus, he shares natural barriers like salt marshes are effective. The good news here is that uh, we do have some time to react. According to the NOAA's report and Professor Wake, our current and future emissions make a direct impact. The rate of sea level rise is increasing as a direct result of human activities. So as we use energy and burn fossil fuels, we emit heat trapping gases into the atmosphere and the planet's warming up. This is a real opportunity for our communities to uh, come together and think regionally about what is a significant risk to the quality of life here on the seacoast that so many of us really love. And when it comes to taking action and making and investments to protect the community. Wake says the time is now not in 2050 when the sea level could already have risen a foot or two. Live in Hampton, Grace Feinerman, 